Yeah, because right now, the majority of our people smoke weed, right? You agree, Amir? Majority of our people smoke weed. Majority of our women smoke weed now, right? Read that. Abhor, regard with disgust and hatred. Wait, 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 wait. Now read the Bible, what did it say? Ecclesiastes chapter 38 verse 4. The Lord hath created medicine out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Meaning you're not going to hate it. But let me ask you a question. Did today, do our people use it for medication, or do they use it just to get zooted and laugh, joke, and play, and waste their life away? To get your problems, right? Now I want to ask you a question. Can you get a job if you, you high on weed? They're going to give you a piss test, especially if you try to get a, a good corporate job. And he say, they, they say we ain't even supposed to drive on weed. Damn. Damn. So now I want to ask you another another question because I'm going to ask you one more question before uh, I put it back up. One question. Uh, Cameron. Yeah, Cameron. Last question. All right, Cameron. So how often do you smoke? You smoke tobacco every day? Damn. Every day he smoke. So you smoke uh, cigarettes, blacks, what is it? Oh, he do it all. Hey, guess what? He do it all now. Do you smoke? Do you do any drugs? You look kind of athletic. You play sports? What's that? You wrestle. You wrestle? Okay. You in high school? Huh? Oh, you twin? Oh, you way out of high school. Hell no. Nah. How old are you? Huh? 23. Damn. All right. First Corinthians 3.16. Read that. First Corinthians. Chapter 3 and verse 16. Verse 16. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God. Wait, wait, now I got a question. It says, Know ye not that you, uh, Amir, Cameron, are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. What does that mean? All right. Hey, yo, man. Huh? No, nope, it's not just about that. Read it again. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. Know ye not that you are the temple of God? All right. So it says, Know you not that you are the temple of God? One thing about this story. His life in Hey, all right, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in a second. But it says, know ye not that you, you Amir, you Cameron, are the temple of God. Read on. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? So now it's saying the Spirit of God dwells within you. You understand? Who's the Spirit of God? You you seem like a religious brother, because as soon as I we brought the scripture, you 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 kind of rebuttal. So who dwell, who, who's the Spirit of God? Okay, you're agnostic. I'm agnostic. All right, we're gonna show you that agnostic is actually ignorant to what the scriptures actually mean. But real quick, I did. So who's the, who's the spirit? No, there's only one interpretation. But real quick, we will we'll get to that. See, hey, you getting deep, brother? Hold on. Uh, so it says, it said, who's the spirit that's in, that's supposed to be in us? Hey, hey, Christ, the spirit of Christ is supposed to be in us. All right, read on. Know ye not that you are the temple of God, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, so what's different ways that we can defile our temple? Smoking, sex. There, there's a lot of them. Going to the Christian church, all these things defile the temple of God. There's a ton. Yeah, there's, there's a ton of different things that defile the temple of God, temple of God, which we are. Because our body isn't ours, is it? No, it's not. Because it goes right back to the Father. It's not ours. It's a rental. It's like you, let me ask you a question. If you let somebody borrow your car 
and they bring it back destroyed inside seat cut up cut up would you be mad would you be mad all right so god let us have our body let me ask you a question brother if you it like you got rose you going to bring it to your lady if another wait because because it's your lady right she's yours if another man you come there another man uh slapping up your woman abusing her are you going to be upset why? Because she's yours, right? So we, our bodies belong to God. Our bodies belong to God. So God says, if any man defile his body with smoking, fornication, sleeping around, uh, killing, stealing, any of any of the laws, any of the things, going to church on Sunday, all these things defile our body, defile our temple. Read on. Him shall God destroy. Wait, God is gonna give him a hug. Him shall God destroy. So God is going to destroy any of us. Because let me ask you, I, I just asked you that question. So that brother that you caught beating up your, your, your woman, are you going to go over there and, and handle that man? You going to let him, you, you just going to let him keep beating up? Oh, Lord, that means he's going to let the man dead keep beating up. Hey, that's Christianity. That's Christianity. Let a man put his hands on my wife. It's going down. It's going down, bro. I'm just keeping it 100. Because right now what you said is so Christian, it's like, I'm going to turn the cheek. While she over there getting beat to death, Jeffrey Dome on her. And you allowing her to get killed. You feel me? But at the end of the day, as men, what are we supposed to do? Protect our women. When you get to a certain age, you don't even want nobody disrespecting your mom. Right. You're like, you better not talk to my mom like that. You ready to die for her. Right. It's the same thing if you love the person that you with, right? We do it for homeboys. They, you see it all the time. That's why black and black on black violence is so high. Right. So, the, so God said, what, is, what belongs to him, do not destroy. And that's his temple. Read that part again. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Read. For the temple of God is holy. Because you are created holy. When you came out the womb, there was no sin on you. You didn't, you, first of all, you didn't smoke. You wasn't drinking. You wasn't fornicating. You wasn't going to church on Sunday. Because you just came from the Father in the heavens into a new body, into a new rental. And God said, take care of my body. Why you think right now we die so young? It's because, what, we pork? Next thing you know, you got all these conditions going on. We don't eat right. We don't live right. We don't smell the damn air. You, we, hey, what can you say? Everything about our lives are bad, right? right, right. What are you just gonna say? Like you gonna say so? Exactly. So all these things defile our body, right? Because if you if if you continue to smoke, what eventually is gonna happen to you? You can die. Yeah. No, 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 no. All right, so yeah. Sorry, it's COVID. It's real. I got monkey pops, too. I ain't Hey, I don't know, man. Hey, hey, I don't know. I don't, me don't want no monkey pops. So, like I was saying, so God just said, don't defile this body, show y'all something, because you was like, oh, that's dealing with, with, with the, the, the sexual laws, right? Uh, Okay. All right, but there's, there's different levels to the scriptures. That's why. I, read, read that. Read that. Here, get my Bible. No, 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 no. Time to go to my sword. You want to be a camel? Still out here. The camel fishing him. That's just for us. Go to us. Uh, with Miss Solomon, happen. fifteen and eight. Well, Let's get the sword with Miles. He's only fishing him. All right. So. All right. All right. Now, now I want to show y'all something because we dealing with our team. Because let me ask you a question, brother. There you go. Since, since you don't mind your, your, your woman getting beat up, sure. I want to ask you a question. Do you have a car? Yeah. If you let one of your, your boys borrow your car and they come back and, and you come back, the car is destroyed. They don't wreck it out. One tire is flat. Are you going to be upset? Now I want to ask you a question, bro. Hey, since you came up, if some if you got a car? Because I'm going to keep it on car. If somebody borrowed your car, and you get back in your car, they spill paint all over the seats. You gonna be mad? Yeah. Hell yeah. So everybody agrees you're gonna be mad if you let somebody borrow something and they destroy it. We agree on that. So read this. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15, verse 8. And employing his labors lewdly, 
He make of a vain god of the same clay. He said the god of the clay is going into idolatry. Idolatry, okay, read. Even he which a little before was made of earth himself. Read it again from the top. I think I said something wrong. Read it again. And employing his hey, labors duly, he make of a vain god of the same clay, even he which a little before was made of earth himself. So it said, we started making idols out of the same earth that we come from. Because, oh, let me ask you a question. Do trees come from the earth? What's one of the biggest religions on earth that uses um, a tree to make its, uh, its, its, uh, its, uh, what do you call it? Its symbol. Yeah. It uses the tree. It basically uses wood. All right, I see. A cross. A cross originally was wood, right? The original cross. The reason no. why people want the cross is because Christ was hung up on the cross, right? So there you go. So the cross, that's something made out of hands of the same earth that we come from. We fashion it and we make a cross. All right, read on. And within a little while, after returning to the same out of the which he was taken when his life which was lent to him wait 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 it sound like you said lit in the in, in the in the in the washing machine on the clothes what did it say his life was what when his life was lit to him his it says our lives were lit to us meaning our lives aren't our own read on shall be demanded shall be demanded meaning when we get to the most high god we are going to have the answer for all the wrong that we have done. So if you get go to the Lord, if you die right now, I know none, no, anybody out here ready to die? Now I want to ask you a question. Are any of y'all ready to meet Christ? You think you're ready? You, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So you don't believe in anything, right? Okay, I understand. So I want to, so, so anybody up here don't believe in God other than uh, our brother Amir? He got a prophet name, but don't believe in God. Damn. But hey, anybody up here believe in, um, uh, don't believe in God? Everybody else believes in God, right? All right. Now I want to tell you, Wisdom of Solomon 13. Is Wisdom of Solomon uh, 13 and 1 or 5 and 1? 13 and 1. Read. Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 1. Because he said he doesn't believe in God. Why don't you believe in God? Oh, you don't believe? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. That's something totally different. It, hey, you know what? All oh, praises you don't believe in religion. Because you know what? The Bible is never a religious book. Right, it's a book of heritage. Right. That's what the Bible's about. Right. You know why it's the foundation? Deuteronomy 28. All right, so this is why it's the foundation of many religions. Hey, wait, wait, wait. All my brothers. Come, come close real quick. I just want to show y'all something. Because y'all got to see this. This is our Hispanic brothers, our Native American brothers. What are they forcing on, where is it? Right here. What are they forcing on? Can y'all see this? What are they forcing him to worship? The cross. The cross. What does every religion that's tied to Christianity worship? The cross. No, he died on the cross, but did you ever hear where he said, worship the cross? Because I want to ask y'all a question. Why does the church pick the cross? Why don't they pick the crown of thorns? I don't see nobody wearing a bloody crown of thorns on their forehead, dripping blood everywhere. No, the reason why they chose... No, carry your cross has, has nothing to do with that, brother. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. You don't believe in religion, but you spewing a whole lot of religious doctrine. Okay, all right, so, all right, so I'm going to tell you right now, erase everything you thought you knew. Because right now, right now, our people, Satan comes immediately. Come on, brother. Brother listening to the word, man. You know you're not yourself when you talk about Satan. Satan hey, come on, man. You, you can't do that, man. Humble down, man. I'm talking to your brother about the word of God. He got to go pick up some medicine. Oh, he got to go pick up medicine? All right, man. Be, be safe, bro. All right, so look right here. So they got him worshiping the cross. So behind the cross, what, what came behind the cross? Get that in uh, 2 Peter 1 and 20. What came behind the cross? What else came behind the cross? What came behind the cross? We already said, we already said that Christianity came behind it. What is Christianity? 
It's a religion. What uh, what religion what religion you were you at one point? All right, non-denominational. Are you religious? Have you ever went to church? Yeah, we was gym. Okay, all praise. I'm happy you ain't been back. Hey, you 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 go to church? You used to go to church too? All right. Oh wait wait wait. Oh, he got crosses all over him, tattooed up with crosses. Damn, and the Bible. You went to church, you got the Bible on your tattooed on your arm. <laughs> okay, all right. So all right, but all right. So I'm gonna tell you right now, the doctrine behind the cross. Alright, so with the cross came a doctrine called Christianity. And how did they get how did they uh, get us into Christianity? As you see here, they're 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 torturing, they're war they uh they're they're breaking the men, they're breaking the women. Why? Because they want them to praise who? White Jesus. Alright? And then right here is slavery. What did they do to us in slavery? They put us in the cotton fields, they told us that we couldn't go that the only day we could go to church is on Sunday, and they stood in our churches. Why they preach? Why we preach the gospel? So therefore, though it happened over a period of time, we started going to church on Sunday. That's why every black community they go to church on Sunday. Am I almost right? Okay. Okay. So there you go. So all right. So wait, wait, wait. You know stuff. You see this brother knows stuff. He know a little something. I was really. I know. I don't know everything, but I got a good. I was in it for a little. All right, so now we're going to read this scripture. Read that. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So the Bible isn't a book of interpretation. There's only supposed to be one version. The reason why you believe multiple versions is because the same person that took you into slavery, do you think they're going to teach you right? Think about it. But do you think the people that... Do you think the people that... Whooped you, kept you in the cotton field, destroyed you. I want to ask you a question, brother. If I, if, if do you, do you know slavery happened, right? You know slavery happened too, bro, right? You know slavery happened, right? The people, uh, we, we, we actually dealing with that right now in, 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 in a way. All right, so the Lord brought you up at the right time. So do you guys understand that the people that took us into slavery would never, ever teach us who we are in the Bible? No, why'd you put a damn, what, come on, bro, you just, you just put a damn, but you just threw the whole conversation off. Who does that? Who takes off a hat and puts on a, a damn, I don't even know what that is, bro. Had it on the hey, whole take time. it, hey, bro, time. take that off, bro. You, you look like time. Rick James on a bad day. Take that, that stuff off, bro. But like I was saying, yeah, big word. <laughs> hey, but like I was saying, the people that, that took us into slavery would never teach us who we are according to the Bible. They would never tell us the right day to go to church. They would never tell us that the Bible is our book. You know what they're going to say? The Bible was written by the white man. So then when a brother comes up, he's going to say, hey, I don't believe the Bible because the white man wrote it. Now, read that again. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Man, it's going down in the black community today. Man, I'm telling you, boy. Damn, the Bible's a real book. Read. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So what does that mean? That the, hey, I'm going to ask you, because you, you had a question. All right, yeah. So it says the Bible is not for private interpretation. What does that mean? It's one interpretation. There you go. There's one interpretation of the Bible. Now wait, 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 wait. Now I want to ask y'all a question. I want to ask y'all a, 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 a question. All right. If there's only one interpretation, what? Who is this guy right here? Oh, you said you said a white Jesus. Like like there's two Jesuses out here. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this guy right here? Who's this? I'm going to ask you, who's this? Who's this guy? I'm going to ask you, who are you? Who's this guy? That's who we know as Jesus. Now I want to ask all y'all brothers a question. What color does the Bible say Jesus is? If the Bible is not for private interpretation, what does the what does the Bible say about the Lord and Savior whose cross you got tattooed on your body? Because, hey, 
He was a puff of air. Nobody saw him. But somebody had to see him if he had a cross on his back. And you say he's a puff. It's one of them damn days. His skin was red. All right. So if the, let's finish this scripture. And then I'm ready. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It just said it didn't come by the will of man. Do you know why it says it didn't come by the will of man? Because it was inspired by God. And you know why else? The first five books. Who wrote the first five books? We'll get to it. Read. That's what it's. For the Moses prophecy came. Came. Moses did. Moses did. Don't get me wrong. But I want to show I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Read. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So it came from holy men. Those holy men, they look just like you brothers. They were black men. Right. That's where the ones that wrote it. Because right here it says. The tribe of Judah are the African Americans. The tribe of Benjamin is the West Indies. The tribe of Levi, so on and so forth. All these are black nations, dark-skinned nations, nations with melanin. Right. Okay, you understand that? So it said that it was written by holy men. The only holy men in the Bible are the Israelites, which you guys are. That's you right. You understand that? Right. So real quick, get that in Revelation. Because we, I just asked a, 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 a question about, about uh, Christ. All y'all agree that that imposter right there is not uh, Jesus Christ. Bring it out! And I could have sworn, I almost thought I heard you say that nobody saw him. But no, I said, no, I said, I don't believe that. I never believe that. Okay, okay. But wait, wait. At that's one that's point that's you that's went. That's the image. That's the image that that's the image that's but, put out. Now I want to ask y'all a question. If you go to church on Sunday, who are you actually subscribing to? You are wrong. All right, next. <laughs> hey, another question. Hey, you totally wrong. Hey, hey, you know what? You know why? Because, because wait. Hey, I'm gonna tell you. You know why I say you're wrong? Because behind that, Sunday is him. Right. Sunday is him. Sunday is that guy right there. But now on church. But yeah, like that's that's on church. But Jesus didn't obey the Sabbath at the end of the day. Oh Lord, have mercy. Jesus didn't obey the Sabbath. All right, real quick. Because in the New Testament, I forgot what book it was in. They got on him about working on the Sabbath and doing stuff on the Sabbath. All right, I want to ask you a question. All right, so, so God, so, so Christ, so Christ broke the Sabbath. So, Man, you are very religious. You are fully in religion. Hey, hey, you are the most, the most non-believing Christian that I ever met. You are fully Christianized. You might as well came up here with a nice tie on and a three-piece suit. Okay. Oh, you were deep in it then. Hey, hey, you must have been the bishop's uh, the, the pastor's armor bearer. Hey, but like I was saying, so let's 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 stay on topic. Go to Revelations real quick. Revelations. You got it. Revelations one. All right, read. Revelations chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this was shown to someone. And it said, things that must come to pass. Let me ask y'all a question. What came to pass the reason why God had to show us something? Or Christ had to show us something? What came to pass? 2 Corinthians 11. What came to pass? I want to know. You some smart brothers. The Old Testament is not prophecy. It's uh, 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I got you. I got you. Now, now I got you. Now I got you. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. But those things that came to pass. But I'm talking about during the time after after Christ's death, things that will come to pass after Christ's death. What happened after Christ's death? 
Oh, no, okay, all right, all right. You, you get you too deep. What do you mean? Hey, real quick. What are you do you know about? what happened after Christ's death? Do you know what happened after Christ's death? Hold First Corinthians, I mean Second Corinthians 11 and 3, get Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. All right, we're going we gonna, to we gonna bring it down. Okay, all that came to pass. Yeah, that's correct. That actually came to pass. All right, let me show you something else that came to pass. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. But wait, wait, wait. Don't leave yet. I just want to touch this one part. I just want to touch this one part. Because, because we're dealing with what came to pass. So what came to pass is said, the Lord what? Shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So it says that we will go into somewhere on ships. What does the word Egypt mean? No, but Egypt was, because Egypt is a Greek word. What's, okay, all right. So the actual definition, the Bible is going to give it to you. You got it? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Bondage just means slavery. Right. All right. So it says that we will go into Egypt again. Now I want to ask you another question. Who went into slavery on ships? Who? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, did, we did. We did. No, make it personal. We went into slavery on ships. This. Oh, man, you sharp, brother. Look. We went into slavery on ship. Well, let me ask y'all a question. You got to ask this question. Why on the back of a dollar bill do you have a pyramid? This ain't got nothing to do with Egypt. The Egyptians wasn't white. You know why? Because the children of Israel are here in this land. And they know the prophecies of the Bible. They know who they have. They know how innovative we are. We invented everything on this land. Damn near. Everything pretty much came from a black man. The car wouldn't be driving if it wasn't us. You wouldn't have a red light if it wasn't us. You wouldn't have something as simple as a mailbox. The white man could not even think of a mailbox. We thought of a box to open and put mail in. That, hey, guess what? They wouldn't even be taking baths because the white man don't like showers. Right. <laughs> Let's keep it real. We are cleaner than them. We dress better. Everything we do is better. You agree? Guess what? Let me ask you a question. Would y'all watch basketball or football if it was only white boys? Hell no. That would be the lowest the, the lowest rated show on TV. The lowest rated sport. But you know who makes it good? We do. That's, That's why right. two black women could go play tennis and take over the whole sport. Yeah. One black man named Tiger Woods could swing a golf club and take over the whole sport. Right. Why? Because we are the best at everything. That's We're the right. best looking. God made us the best. Right. Bring it up. Right. We are the children of Israel, God's children. Then you got to ask your question. Aren't your children supposed to be better than everybody else? Right. If I'm the greatest person on the face of the earth, I am God. I created everything. Well, aren't you going to make your child better than everybody? Hmm. You got to start thinking like gods and stop thinking like white people. Because right. right now, that's all you, we got it so soon in our mind because we've been so destroyed in slavery that we don't realize how great we are. But God said, because we didn't realize how great we are, read that again. And this time, instead of Egypt, say slavery. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again with ships. Make it make sense. So these things came to pass right. after Christ. Read. We're on, by the way, whereof I say unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Did we ever go back to Africa, the so-called motherland? Have you been to Africa? 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 Brothers don't even leave the hood sometimes. Bring it out. Bring it out. They spend their whole life where? In captivity. Right. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. Thank you.